Hey everyone, today I wanted to do a little sunscreen update just because I've been going through so much and I was thinking about my past video and I was like, it's changed. It's not the same. It's just, it's a little bit different now. Also, school started, like we are full steam ahead. I'm just thinking about all the homework I have to do still, but I did get a lot done today. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Yeah, so how are you? How is everyone? I just wanted to hop in here really quick during the beginning of the week. Say hi. Wish you all well during school. If you start a new job. I know some people start a new job recently, which is great, but, you know, always so scary. I've been working at my job for, like, over a year now. Like, a year and a half now? Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait for an office job. Honestly, I can't wait to not deal with customers anymore. I hate people like dealing with people customer service is not my thing probably hi how are you <laughs> anyways i'm veering off so in my past video i talked about the neutrogena pure and free baby sunscreen spf 50 which i didn't like and i used the rest up as a body spf wow wow and then I was like, screw that, and so I used this one instead, and I was like, oh yeah, it's a little bit better. The white cast is a lot better. Like, it's a, I don't know, scale from one to five, like five being the worst white cast, like, I'm talking about white paint on your face. Um, this would be, hmm, the sun, <laughs> this would be probably around like a two, because there's still definitely a cast, but it's just not that visible. But there's definitely a cast. And it also burns my face. And I don't know why, because this is a zinc oxide and titanium oxide. This is a physical sunscreen. This is not a chemical one. This Neutrogena Sensitive Skin uh, SPF 50. So, what the heck? No. And then, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to another one. So I used this one instead, which I raved about, which was the Walgreens. <laughs> so this was like four dollars walgreens spf 50 sensitive skin oxybenzone free fragrance free and oil free so this is a combination sunscreen which is nice because you know you get the physical but you also get the benefit of not having a super you know pasty cast this you'd put it on and it'll be like um a one cast and then or it'll be, it'll be a two and then it would shear down to a one i would say a really greasy one really greasy like i'm talking about you need to powder your face after this because Grease. Grease. Well, that's the same thing with this one that I'm using currently is the CVS um, SPF 70 lotion, broad spectrum, water resistant, hypoallergenic. This one is not a combination. This one's a full chemical sunscreen. I really do like it because there is zero cast though. There is zero cast with this one. It's just unfortunately really greasy on the face. And also it that's home <laughs> and also it is kind of just doesn't feel as good on the face the texture is not as good as the one i'm gonna say that's my now all-time favorite it's my all-time favorite sunscreen and so my all-time favorite as of right now that i'm just loving is the neutrogena wait let me i didn't even show you these this one so this is the C, the walgreens one mm -hmm. here's the cvs one Mm -hmm. And now, ready for my all-time favorite? Neutrogena Spore SPF 70 Oil-free sunscreen Water-resistant It has no fragrance in it I repeat It has No fragrance in it It has some ferments in it It's 100% chemical sunscreen So it does not have any cast this one does not burn my face at all there's no sting around the eyes it's super hydrating i love it it's on a for greasiness it's a little bit greasy but not not like these two definitely not like these two at all but this one is my all-time favorite as of right now i love her she's so good and you know it's like eight dollars for this and it's like two and a half ounces i'm like it's decent. I'm almost, I'm not, I'm about halfway done with it, but 
Yeah, I've been really loving that one. I usually put this one on first after I moisturize. Then I will either put this one on, which you guys heard me talk about, the Botanicals SPF 50 Tinted suns Tinted Sunscreen, the mineral one. Um, it's great. I still use this every single day. Even if I apply this, I always just apply this over it, which is the, what I did today. Or, I, if I want more coverage, because it's kind of a gloomy day today, and I did not leave the house. <laughs> but if I want more coverage, if I'm leaving the house, like yesterday when I had work, I will take this, put this on after I, I put on the Neutrogena one, and then put this one on over it. So I have, you know, three layers of sunscreen. Yeah, <laughs> I literally do wear three layers of sunscreen majority of the time. But today we're just wearing two. So then... The one that I am using up for on my body, I do use this one up on my body because it's so big. Like, oh my god. But then I also use this one more on like my neck. This is the Neutrogena Sen Sensitive Skin Mineral Sunscreen SPF 60 Plus. It has a cast. It has like a three. So, like I was saying, this sunscreen the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin 60 Plus is a 100% mineral sunscreen. It's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, but it has a really, like, a cast of, like, a 3. So I only use this on my body, mainly my neck area, just because, like, you can see here, I get irritation. So, like, this won't cause nearly, like, any irritation, rather, to... This, which can cause irritation on me sometimes, usually it doesn't, but, you know, I can get away with using this one a lot of the time. See, like, you can't really see why I cast. And then if I do, I just put in this, tint I put this tinted one right on over it. And since this one's mineral too, it really does not matter with sensitivity-wise. It does have eucalyptus in it. Oh yeah, so I got this and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen SPF 30, the tinted one, but I'm trying to get through this one first. It's like a totally different tint, that's the thing. This one's definitely a, I mean it's warm tone, they're both really warm toned, but this one I guess is um more matte it's a weird texture but like it's really nice i do recommend it it's only like 15 dollars this is the same price but like i'm pretty sure you get yeah you get double in this one you get three ounces this one has 1.7 so i mean you do the math there <laughs> you're basically playing basically playing double for this but this also has ceramides in it it's fragrance free Be something else to talk about. Hmm. This is a weird way to end the video. <laughs> Ooh. Quick little review here. The Great Lash by Maybelline. Now, I know everyone's tried this, but I had to try it for myself. I don't like it. I mean, I'm wearing it right now. It's fine. It's just like a tinted. It doesn't. It's. There I go. What I like is this one by NYX for a brown mascara. The worth the hype. Because it's just it has. It's a little bit thicker. And it goes on a lot nicer. And you can. You have a lot more control with it. And it doesn't flake. This flakes when you put it on. Like, you'll be trying to pull it on your, put it on your eyelashes, and the, by the time you're done, and you got all the clumps out, you look on your eyelid, and there's just like, splatters everywhere. 
God forbid you blink. This is watery as hell. You blink, it's underneath your eyes. <laughs> so, I would not repurchase this, ever. Granted, I did get the, maybe it's just the color, brownish black. And most people just get the black, so maybe that's the thing. I also don't like the applicator. Look at this. Now, it would be nice, because you're like, oh yeah, it's just spoolie. Look at this Morphe one. Look how like easy the brush is. The bristles are like moving. I'm not gonna touch this one, but when it touches your eyelashes, it doesn't move. <laughs> so it's really hard to work with. But if you look at this one from the NYX, this one's really nice actually. I really like this one. It's not an hourglass, it's like an hourglass minus, okay, it's like half of an hourglass. That's what it, what it is. It's perfect. <laughs> like, perfect for the ends. You have a perfect tipped point for the inside. I just don't really like this component. It doesn't like, I don't know. I guess they both are like that, but let me see if this one works. I was just expecting more bucks, but whatever. <laughs> I was seeing if they like snapped twists, you know what I mean, when you close it and like snaps. But I guess not. Yeah, that's my little review. Give that um, a zero out of five. Do not buy it. Sorry, Maybelline. I like your Fit Me powder, but that, no. Great lash. Great fail. <laughs> Anyways, bye.